Hi, welcome to another episode on the channel. Um, it's been a while since I've done a Fragrance 101 um, video. Um, so I decided, you know what, why not, you know? There's a couple of questions that, you know, I keep getting in the comments and, you know, from friends, you know, family and people asking me for advice here and there. And I thought, you know what, this would be the kind of video that I'd like to put out there in terms of, you know, how to find your signature scent. So a signature scent is essentially that smell or that scent that you will be known by you know whenever people smell it they say this smells like so and so essentially that is what a signature scent is so there's a couple of steps here um just i think around 12 and um, that i found on scent grill and um you know it's a simple step you know very practical to do and you know it's something it's a process that i've always followed for some reason without even without any specific guidance of any sort when it comes um to to you know testing out and looking for fragrances that i like and to to add to my collection so step one take it easy Take it easy. This is a process. Enjoy it. Don't put yourself under any pressure, you know? Um, don't be fooled by the love at first sight thing. Take your time, you know, because some fragrances at first sight may, you know, appear to be more than what they are. So first up, you know, questions you need to ask. What are you hoping to achieve with your signature, you know, Perfume, you know, fragrance, so to say, you you want compliments, you want something that boosts your 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 your, 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 your self confidence in yourself, you know, something that makes you feel like a boss that dominates the room when you enter, and you know, how much money are you willing to spend on the signature, for example? Um, simple example, if you're gonna be going out there finding something like this, Sauvage D or Sauvage Alexa um very very expensive per mil and uh even though the performance and the quality is very very good but for a signature scent you have to think twice you know and then how will this fragrance affect other people do you want everyone to smell you and compliment you and know that you are there or do you want something subtle that people will smell when they get closer to you yeah so take it easy ask yourself those questions you know financially what you want to achieve with the scent and how do you want to affect other people and then start with a smell that you like most of us have certain scents that we like lavender rose iris vanilla you know um some of us are into the gourmands um tobacco leather all of that so start there you know um start there and um as a pro tip you know um if you already own perfumes remind yourself of the ones that you like and then somewhere in between your signature scent likes right that's step number two right start with smells you already know most people out there even that uh, you know some of my friends or you know uh, family that have asked me for recommendations usually know what they like they'll tell you no i like fresh but strong or whatever you know sweet you know etc and then the next one consider what you do um for a living hobbies and lifestyle you know if you're someone that's always in the office uh, you need to choose something that's appropriate for that if you're someone that is sporty and lives an active life something suitable for that would be more ideal something fresh and you know and and pop that pops and citrusy those make uh, quite good uh, sports fragrances for example um something like uh, paco Rabanne, one million in the office everyone will smell you um they will enjoy it at the start but at some point it can get a bit too much so you must be careful with such things so step number three consider your hobbies and lifestyle and then align your signature scent with that right and then step number four, do some research before purchasing and testing, right? Here we're talking about, you know, all of these uh, popular fragrance brands, designer uh, brands have uh, websites. Go into the website, see what's new, see what they're currently panting, and then 
get you'll get a good idea of you know where to start you know they usually explain and have marketing spew around them you know whatever uh, you know sounds like you know it's it, it's selling you something you start there so that's how you sort of narrow down your search in a way just a suggestion do your research before purchasing and testing right and then you start right my advice is even though i never use that advice take this advice myself but it's actually quite a a good um advice to say arrive at the store without wearing perfume one thing that i do usually when i go out and i test i'm trying to pick up new things is that i would wake up maybe with not that in mind to say i'm going to test so let me not put anything on myself but rather go there and you know put some, uh, test something so um also avoid wearing clothes maybe a jacket that you wore the previous day with your previous fragrance so go in there clean fragrance free maybe just your underarm roll on and that's it you know then test away um so that's number five arrive at the store without wearing anything so that you can get a good um uh, you know feel of everything without any distractions from maybe something that you wore yesterday or that you put on this morning right try out only a couple of perfumes per visit it can be very overwhelming i get overwhelmed every time i go into a department store and then i just start from one end and i go to the other and i skip a couple in between and then it's just before you know it you know i leave that store i go into another store you know maybe the shop assistant asks me what are you wearing and then i'm like ah you know i actually don't know what i'm wearing because maybe i'm just wearing so many fragrances that it's just overwhelming and maybe they're picking up something that they like but i can't really tell them what it is so yeah try out only a couple per visit you know um if you can get to the um uh, retail outlet on a weekly basis go there my suggestion is no more than four you know um spray on the tester strips you know take them home usually that's what i do or on the skin you know i usually put on my skin like on my top of my palm underneath on my wrist you know on both sides then i can take at least four fragrances home with me right and you know like i said arrive in the morning when you know your nose is much fresher and less saturated by all, all sorts of smell and, and you're still fresh you know so um sometimes smelling a lot of fragrances you know um when you've had a long day you, you can end up with a bit of blindness and a bit of you know a bit of an overdose of of, of scents you know in a way so try out only a couple of perfumes per visit that's step number six i would suggest four at a time you know but if it's a bit too much for you cut it down two three that's still good enough as long as you know maybe you can always go a couple of times to the store and taste out new things step number seven test it on skin right test the strips are nice but sometimes i see people maybe you're a bit nervous to sort of ask the assistant or just take the test yourself and put it on yourself because maybe you think they think you know you're looking for a cheap scent for the day you know but put it on yourself that's the best way that's where you're gonna be applying your fragrance on a daily basis anyway you know so put it on skin that's the true test of a fragrance you know tester strips sometimes can be deceiving it can smell good on a tester strip but not good on yourself and sometimes i heard someone say they are designed to make you buy the fragrance it will smell so good on the tester strip you buy it you put it on the skin it's not that great right so i usually try both you know i i put it on my skin i put it on tester strips i take them home and i line them up and i always just take up the smell and you know it, it will give you a good sense right um samples you know if you can always ask for samples i know lots of times you know we don't even know because the samples are not on display you don't even know whether the samples are available but every now and then um maybe when you buy you'll get a sample but sometimes you must just be brave enough and ask for samples and that's it can i have a sample please is there a sample of this fragrance i like it you know i'd like to go test it out maybe you never know you'll get a sample take it home be able to test it and be good right so one thing that i like doing 
and i think i don't know maybe you might like it as well before maybe spraying the fragrance smell it off the cap smell it off the cap that usually will give you a good um sense of what it smells like once the fragrance is settled because sometimes as you spray um some of it pours out and then it settles and goes through the different you know um, um top middle and and, and uh, uh, you know base notes so it's sort of more settled when you smell it off the cap rather than when you spray it out then you get the top the fresh and whatever that might be deceiving but might not be there a couple of hours later right yo so step number seven test on skin because that's where the fragrance is going to go it's not rocket science right and then step number eight skip the coffee beans there's always this thing i also used to be into it with this you know there's always a coffee bean a jar of coffee bean there to help you you know to sort of clear the previous scent and then you know sometimes um if you have um you know put on been smelling so many fragrances there comes a point where those coffee beans are pretty much ineffective so skip the coffee beans you know like i say just pick your scents put it to tester strips move away right moving away means you want to get to the dry down so that's step number nine wait for the dry down so the dry down is when the fragrance settles after it's gone through the initial opening maybe the perfumers alcohol some fragrances maybe they'll hit you with that and then the the, the, the fresh notes first that sell you the fragrance and then it settles down to the base notes right so wait for that dry down you know um, because some fragrances they smell good at the top when you open and then end up down while some may turn out to be very strange on your skin when once they dry down so wait for the dry down don't be quick that's why this is a process where you're not running in there to leave with something it's a testing out you are on a journey to find your signature scent right right that's step number nine wait for the dry down step number ten pretty logical temperature affects perfume performance so um if you're into fresh fragrances in the hot summer months you're good to go you know but in the winter months you have a challenge so it's always good to sort of balance um you know to say you know i live in this type of environment it's always hot so fresh fragrances work right you know the much more heavier fragrances might not be ideal they might be a bit too glowing and too overbearing you know right so always be aware temperature affects perfume performance um so heavier perfume uh, per perfume is best winter and the lighter for hot summer months simple rule there you go temperature affects uh perfume performance and then number 11 test perfumes multiple times right so this one is simple go in there the first time go away dry down you like it go again and see if you still like it you know because just first time buying you know because you liked it on the day you know you might end up not really liking it you know so this also boils down to the if you can find a store that gives samples for you to take something away and continuously test that's even good you know then you can test multiple times away from the store and then you come back to buy if you're convinced that you like it right cool and then at number 12 and the last step in the process wear what you like and not what others like you know this may sometimes be a bit difficult because some you know, when people uh, we often have approach subject like this people over complicate things we all have things that we like and then um, sometimes you smell things from other people and they can confuse you a bit but you've got things that you like stick to what you like ultimately um this is what it's all about your signature sense is a reflection of your personality and a picture of um, um of what you reflect out there to the world so it's not about other people but rather what you like how you'd like to be perceived what kind of scent would you like people to associate with you and that's the long and the short of it when it comes to signature scents so yeah that's it the 12 steps to choosing a signature scent 
part of the Fragrance 101 uh, series of videos that I'll be doing on the channel. Yeah, so if you like this video, click the like button below. Please subscribe. Till next time. Oh, don't forget to leave that a comment down below and tell me what you think and what your process has been to choose a fragrance for yourself, signature fragrance for yourself, one or two or three, for example. Till next time, peace.